In this video, let's take a look at a case study where a pretty simple change in UX led to a $300 million increase in annual revenue. You see, around 2008, there was a major e-commerce site whose checkout process was as follows. A user would first shop for items and add those items to their shopping cart. Once they had their shopping cart filled, they would click a checkout button. At this point, they would encounter a form with the following layout two input fields, one for an email address and the other for a password, two buttons, a register button and a login button, and finally, a link to click on if they forgot their password. Now, while there was nothing inherently wrong with the form layout itself, placing the form here at this point in the sales process was causing a conversion bottleneck. Basically, this was creating friction, hindering the user from achieving their true end goal, buying the product. So let's dive into this for a minute and look at some of the ways that this caused friction. For one thing, many customers didn't remember if they had previously created an account. And for that reason, many ended up spending time trying to recall email addresses and passwords. Unfortunately, these often turned out to be wrong, leading to mucho frustration. And if a customer clicked on the forgot password link, well, they now had to try to remember which email address that they might have registered with in the first place. Now, while the company didn't think first-time users would mind registering, many users were actually leery of doing so. They didn't want to get into some unknown level of engagement and have to start entering all sorts of personal data. Many were suspicious of getting placed on mailing lists and, in general, just suspicious of how their data would end up being used. All right then, let's now take a look at the big fix. You see, what the company ended up doing is getting rid of the register button. Instead, they created a continue button. The layout looks something like this. We had one section functioning as a returning customer section, and another section, the one with the continue button, functioning like a checkout as guest section. Along with the continue button, they added the following text. You do not need to create an account to make purchases on our site. Simply click continue to proceed to checkout. To make your purchases even faster, you can create an account during checkout. You probably recognize this as the familiar checkout pattern that we see today. Here I'll show you two examples of it in use. One is from Macy's and the other here is from Warby Parker. Now, fortunately, once the company made this change, the friction was indeed reduced. The continue button guest checkout allowed the user to proceed directly to purchasing the product without having to go through the authentication process. And this resulted in a massive revenue increase to the tune of $300 million annually. Drop me a comment down below and let me know what you think the key takeaway or lesson learned from this UX change was. If you want to take your web development skills to the next level, check out the Code Creative Store for courses and free content. I'm gonna leave a link for you in the description and the comment sections down below. See you next time.